Hey great people, it's me again Mr. Team on Empowerment Hour here on Chemopol TV. Uh, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do well to subscribe and hit the notification button so you get first-hand information on our videos that will be dropping very soon. On Empowerment Hour, we try as much as possible to educate the people on the new trends, business trends, on what you should get involved in. Don't sit back at home. Don't wait for the government. Don't wait for anybody out there. Be a solution provider. Today, we are going to be dealing on the transportation business. And on the transportation business, somebody will be thinking we are talking about uh, uh, owning uh, an aircraft or something. No, we are talking about a business that have lifted men, lifted women, made families to stand, but a lot of people are looking down on that business. Today we are going to be talking about a business most people call in Nigeria the Okada business. Some of us address it as the going business, but it's a transport business and I'll be uh, talking with uh, a guest, a wonderful guy uh, on the show who is into the Okada business. He's going to be answering some of our questions. I believe I'll be able to answer your questions, ask your questions uh, to him and uh, we'll get his testimony on this business. Thank you very much. Please, can we meet you? What's your name? My name is Elijah. Good. Mr. Elijah, um, you are doing this Okada business. Please, for how long have you been doing this business? Since 2016. Wow, 2016. Oh, great. Please, we want to find out. Every business, they say, has its own challenges. But before the challenges, something gives birth to something. This Okada business, what led you to this Okada business? Um, actually, like I said, my name is Elijah. I'm from Nasrallah State. I didn't plan to do this Okada business, but due to one challenges to the on, on the other, when we were there, something happened, and there was conflict, and it happens right in our village. So right from there, I thought maybe I don't have any option again than to come out and struggle because I cannot sit back and rely on my parents. Mm. That is why I have to move from Nasra State to this place. And since from then, I've been driving this Okada up till late. This is what I use to feed myself and my families. Now, don't forget a line he used. He said this is what he uses to feed himself and his family. Now, something pushed you, like a conflict you mentioned, pushed you into this business. You do not want to fall back on nothing. You, you want to have something to kickstart life. Yes. Now, there is growth in everything we do. When you started this machine, did you buy it? Or you went and you paid them cash and carried the machine and started using How did it start for you? Uh, I use it as a high purchase mm. because by then I didn't have money. Okay. So I, it was one man that bought the bike for me at the rate of 230000 mm. which I paid the man interest of 100000 making 330000 But now the bike is mine. Did you see the smile on his face when he said the bike is his? Now, that is the smile that comes out of success. He said something, somebody bought the bike. I believe you got into an agreement with this man. Yes. And this man also made a profit of 100,000. He said he put, it, put an interest of 100,000. Yes, yes. But you were, you, you started, you said you've been doing this for since 2016. And yes. you started, you bought, he gave you the bike 2016. No. Okay, it wasn't 2000, when did you get the bike? 2018. 2018 and here is when did you finish paying for the bike in 10 months time was it really stressful trying to cover very, the very very stressful yes because i used to wake up five o'clock while people are still sleeping yes i'll be on the road whether the sun is shining i'm still on the oh. sun from morning till evening mm. in order to make sure i paid the man his money now all those labor you put in are there is there a result to show for it now that waking up early and going to do to pay off the money are you happy today yes now this is what we are trying to bring to you there are ways you can create happiness for yourself and nothing is as sweet as a happiness you create for yourself mr elijah out of conflict 
thought of something. How can I stay back? If you look at Mr. Elijah, you know that he's a fine young man. How can I sit back and fall back at the mercy of my parents? He left Nasarawa State and moved over to Abuja, Abuja, Nigeria. And today, he is the owner of a bike. And because he has finished paying for this bike, he has the luxury of time he can realize he can build other businesses. And that takes me to the other question. Everybody should have a plan in life. If you grow to owning a bike from a conflict hit region of Nigeria and to where you are, you own a bike right now. What is your plan moving forward? Where do you want to, where are you moving to right now? Um, due to the situation of the country, we cannot just sit back and expecting the government to help us. Mm -hmm. So the plan I am having right now is I want to move into a business okay. because this Okada business is is not something that I can depend on forever. Forever. Mm. So I thank God the bike is mine. But from now henceforth, I'm looking for other business that comes my way. And, and I believe whatever business you want to work on now is savings from this Okada business that you want to use to invest yes yes now listen to what we are going to do we are going to put in because there are wonderful viewers out there we are going to put Mr. Elijah's contact on display are you going to allow us to put up your contact on yes, display sir. there are people out there who are inspired by what you have said right now and if you are out there you want to have a business you want to do with Mr. Elijah you want to get him involved in another business he has proved to us and proved to our viewers that he can grow a business. He started doing Okada business in one other form, got introduced to somebody who shows trust and was able to meet up to that demand and owns a bike today. Still owns his, owns his own business. Your number is going to be out there in case of our viewers who want to do an investment with you because you've proven to be a point one can invest on. We'll put your details out there and expect contact. People are going to contact you and I be, we believe God you're going to be wise in making up it, making a decision on what you want to do. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Elijah. It's nice talking to you and uh, our viewers are also happy getting inspired by what you're doing. You are out there thinking of what to do next. There is no shame in starting up. This is to empower your mind. This is to tell you that you cannot be at the mercy of someone else. Start something. Start doing something. There's a force inside of you. There is something inside of you that will make it work. Thank you for watching. Once again, if you have not subscribed to our channel, do well to subscribe to Kema Paul TV. This is Empowerment Hour and I remain Mr. Team. Thank you very much. Bye.